Hi, you must have come across terms like vector norms, matrix norms, eigenvectors and eigenvalues while studying machine learning or deep learning. In this video, I'll try to explain these terms in a simple manner. I'll follow it with some code in Python. So let's start. We'll begin with vector norm. So what's a vector norm? In layman's terms, vector norm gives you the length of a vector. Suppose we have a vector v and the components of this vector v are 1, minus 2 and 3. The vector norm will give you the length of this vector. Now there are various ways by which you can calculate vector norm. Here. We will have a look at some of these. We'll start by calculating the L1 norm. Okay, so how do we calculate L1 norm? To calculate L1 norm, we take absolute of each of the components of the given vector and add them together. Okay, so let's do that. The absolute of 1 is 1, the absolute of minus 2 is 2, the absolute of 3 is 3. Let's add them together and we get 6 which is the L1 norm of the given vector. Okay. Now let us calculate L2 norm. So how do we do that? Remember while calculating L1 norm we took the absolute values of each of the component. Here, we will take the squares of these absolute values. So, 1 square, 2 square, 3 square. We'll add them together. And finally, we take the square root. So, our answer is under root of 14 which is nothing but the L2 norm of the given vector. So how do we define the L2 norm? L2 norm is defined as the square root of the sum of squares of absolute values of each component of the given vector. And that is what we did here. Now we will calculate L infinity norm. So how do we do that? To calculate L infinity norm, again we take the absolute values of each component. So the absolute value of 1 is 1, the absolute value of minus 2 is 2, the absolute value of 3 is 3. Now we take the maximum of these values which is 3. So I hope it's clear how to calculate L1 L2 and L infinity norm of a given vector. Now we'll have a look at how to calculate matrix norms. Suppose we have a matrix A and it's a 3 by 3 matrix with values minus 2, 1, minus 3, 0, 4, 1, minus 1, 1 and 2. Now, we'll have a look at how to calculate L1 norm of the given matrix. So, to calculate L1 norm, First, we take the absolute values of each element of the given matrix. The absolute value of minus 2 is 2, 1 is 1, minus 3 is 3, 0, 4, 1, 1, 
वन टू नाउ वील टेक द मैक्सिम कॉलम सम सो फर्स्ट वी टेक दिस कॉलम एंड वी कैलकुलेट द सम ऑफ ऑल एलिमेंट्स प्रेजेंट इन दिस कॉलम सो द सम इज थ्री नाउ वी टेक दिस कॉलम एंड वी एड ऑल द एलिमेंट्स प्रेजेंट इन दिस कॉलम सो वी गेट सिक्स नाउ वी टेक द लास्ट कॉलम एंड एड ऑल द एलिमेंट्स वी गेट सिक्स नाउ वी टेक द मैक्सिम ऑफ दीज वैल्यूज विच इज सिक्स एंड दिस इज द एलवन नॉम ऑफ द गिवन मैट्रिक्स नाउ बिफोर कैलकुलेटिंग एल टू नॉम आई वुड लाइक यू टू नो अबाउट आइगन वैक्टर्स एंड आइगन वैल्यूज ओके सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट आइगन वैल्यूज एंड आइगन वैक्टर्स सो वॉट्स एन आइगन वैल्यू लेट्स गो थ्रू द डेफिनेशन फर्स्ट डोंट वरी इफ यू डो नॉट अंडरस्टैंड द डेफिनेशन फॉर नाउ जस्ट गो थ्रू द डेफिनेशन विल सॉल एन एग्जाम्पल लेटर दैट विल मेक इट वेरी क्लियर सो इफ यू हैव अ मैट्रिक्स ए विद डायमेंशन एंड क्रॉस एन देन एनी नंबर लैमडा दैट सेटिस्फाइज दिस इक्वेशन फॉर अ नॉन जीरो वैक्टर कॉलम वी इज एन आइगन वैल्यू ऑफ दिस मैट्रिक्स so we rewrite this equation using the identity matrix now as i told you v is a non zero vector column or a matrix of dimensions n cross 1 so to find the solution we set the determinant of this matrix a minus lambda i equal to 0 okay so let's take an example and i'm sure this example will make it very clear Suppose we have a matrix A with dimensions two cross two and values zero, one, minus two, and minus three. I hope you are familiar with the concept of identity matrix. In an identity matrix, the diagonal elements are one, and all other elements except the diagonal elements are zero. So this is a two cross two identity matrix. Now our task is to find eigen value of this matrix a to find this first we'll find a minus lambda i and then we'll set its determinant to 0 so let's do that so let's solve for a minus lambda i so this is a and this is i solving it further gives us this now performing simple matrix subtraction gives us this matrix which is a minus lambda i and the elements are minus lambda 1 minus 2 and minus 3 minus lambda now what we need to do is we need to find the determinant of this matrix and set it to 0 so i hope you are familiar with finding the determinant so finding the determinant gives us this equation this is a quadratic equation and we can easily find the roots of this quadratic equation the roots of this quadratic equation are minus 1 and minus 2 and these are the eigen values of the given matrix a now that we have calculated eigen values we will look how to calculate eigen vector for a particular eigen value in previous slides i told you about this equation a minus lambda i dot v equal to zero, and we have already calculated a minus lambda i, which is nothing but this matrix. Now, to find eigen vector for a particular eigen value, we substitute lambda with that eigen value. So, let us calculate eigen vectors for our first eigen value, which was minus one. So, let's substitute lambda with minus one, and we get. this equation now using easy matrix multiplication we can solve this equation and get the relation between x and y as x equal to minus y so one of our eigen vector would be 1 and minus 1 note that there can be many eigen vectors 
for a particular eigenvalue. Okay, so now that we are done with calculation of eigenvalues and eigenvectors, let me tell you what actually eigenvectors are. So, eigenvectors are those vectors which remain fixed in direction under a given linear transformation. What happens is, whenever you multiply a vector with a matrix, you change the direction as well as you scale the vector. But these are special types of vectors which do not change their direction under a given linear transformation. So I hope that makes sense. Now I'll tell you how to calculate L2 norm of a matrix. So to calculate the L2 norm of a matrix, what you do is you first calculate the transpose of that matrix. Then you multiply that transpose with the matrix. Now you find the eigenvalues of the resultant matrix and from all those eigenvalues you choose the maximum eigenvalue. After choosing the maximum eigenvalue you find the square root of that eigenvalue. And that is the way you find the L2 norm of a matrix. Let's see how to find all these norms using NumPy. Here's the code for calculating norms of a vector or a matrix and eigenvectors and eigenvalues of a matrix. The code is pretty self-explanatory. You only need to remember these two functions. The first one helps you to calculate the norm of a vector or matrix. You just need to pass the vector and you need to specify which type of norm you want to find. For the second function, you just pass the matrix and the function calculates eigenvalues and corresponding eigenvectors for you. I hope this video has helped you to understand the basics of norms, eigenvalues and eigenvectors.